I know, Mr. Pacetti. What you've been through is unimaginable. But I can't help you unless you open up. Miss Walker. Miss Walker. 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 Fetch! Please, tell me what happened. Okay. My parents called me in when they found out I had powers. I was dumbstruck. But my brother Brent, he always took care of me. He just grabbed my hand and we ran. Spent a few years living on the streets, staying out of sight, keeping on the move. We did some shitty things to make money. But that job we pulled before leaving Seattle? Worse than the rest of it combined. Come on, sis. It's just one more job. It's all loaded up. Let's just go. No, this one's the payday. Mm-hmm. How much? Enough to rent a decent place. <sighs> yeah? Yeah. Enough for a short-tailed Burmese cat. Huh? Oh, that's low. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough for a fresh start. We could use one. Shit, get out, get out! What? It's the cops. Right, you hide, hide. I'll distract them. No, wait. You do this job, we leave tonight. No one will be able to find us? Y yeah, soon as... No. No. Do not use your powers. I'm not gonna kill anyone. Just... Carry my weight. Fetch! <sighs> Hey! You! Come over here. Look at me. Eyes up! Right here. Uh, is this really necessary? On the process. All right, kid. Over here. You seen a kid with a mohawk on this dock? If I search that boat of yours, am I gonna find him? Wait! You want to see a trick? Bren always pushed me to keep my power secret. If anyone knew a conduit was in town, there'd be a manhunt. And it happened before. But that night, I wasn't worried. I'd use my powers to get the job done, then the two of us would take off. We'd be miles away before the DUP showed up. job with this cop on my ass. Ugh, gotta ditch this guy. All clear. I think. Maybe. There's gotta be something around here to deck up. Chopper's ditched. Brent, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But as soon as you started to glow, the whole city went crazy. This is too dangerous. We need to leave now. The DUP's coming. I thought you wanted a fresh start. And you know I want that cat. 
Just tell me what the job is so I can do it. Uh, fine, just be fast. It's the penthouse at Third and Stone. Break in, grab the red duffel bag. Okay. What's in the bag? You get it? And we're leaving with a literal boatload of cash. <laughs> I like the sound of that. We'll get out of Dodge. You're always one step ahead of me. Just be fast. The thought of you in a DUP prison, I couldn't live with myself. Knock, knock. What? More witnesses! Kill her! What about the case? We leave. I just want the red duffel bag. That's it! Charge up. Gonna need it. Okay. Fetch, you okay? Were you in that? What happened? The place was full of Russians dancing around a bomb. Shit. The occurrence. They found him. Found who? My boss. If they knew about the penthouse, then they'll know about our boat. We gotta go now. Fine. Warm up the engine. I'll be right there. I'm sorry about all this. I really wanted to get you that Burmese cat. I know. Next time. Got you. Now hang up and hide, dummy.
Where are you? No. I need you. Whenever I'd start to freak out, I'd focus on Brent. It was the only thing that calmed me down. I clung to a good memory. First night in Seattle, we found this overpass and got out of the rain. Ended up reading comics by flashlight until we fell asleep. Later, this guy snuck in and tried to steal what little we had. And I was about to make him pay for it. That night, we established the rules. Rule number one, no powers, no matter what. We might lose some gear, but Brent didn't want us to lose us. I shouldn't have used my powers. It was my fault he was gone. It was my... I lost it! Those breaks from reality changed me. I'd wake up with new powers. It was like my body decided to fight, but my mind just gave up. You've been very forthcoming, Miss Walker. How about a break? You can show me the skill you acquired from your mental snap. I thought you wanted to get control of your powers. That's what we're here for. I don't know. Last time I used them. We'll start with something simple. I'll be watching your progress from up there. Please don't try anything stupid. stupid. All I do is stupid. No, Miss Walker. You're a survivor. Everyone has a weakness. You just have to look for it. There you go. It's a start, but the world won't wait for you. Sometimes you need to act fast, follow your instincts. Not bad, not great, but you just started. Perhaps you'd like more relatable targets. Impressive, aren't they? These hard light holograms look and feel real. Now, please kill them. I don't just mindlessly shoot things, okay? Oh, the conduit up here making those holograms, Eugene, he won't mind. What's the point? The point is survival. Not just for you, but for those who can't defend themselves. Go on, protect him. Nice to see you still have some fight in you. Let's hope your other senses are still as sharp. The clock's ticking. Find and save the hostage. Not to worry. Eugene will make another. According to my files, you can see people through walls. Is that no longer true?
Well done. Now, I've hidden a second hostage somewhere nearby, but this time you'll have to move quickly to save him or he'll die. Horribly. Wasn't the fastest time I've seen on that test. Let's try something else. yourself. How high can you jump? You've proven basic mastery, but are you tenacious, Miss Walker? When presented with a challenge, do you fight your way through or hide in a corner? On guard, Miss Walker. Better hurry. This new hostage looks weak. Sorry, Miss Walker, there's another hostage. You wouldn't like to see him die, would you? You're good. Another helpless soul. Got another victim coming. They just keep coming, don't they?
That was an acceptable performance on the hostage exercise. We keep score, you know. Other conduit achievements are posted to irritate and inspire you. I'm always open to more training. Perhaps you'd like to surpass them. That'll do for now. Take a seat. I'd like you to resume your explanation of what happened in Seattle. After a night of tearing up the city looking for my brother, I ended up back at what was left of our boat. That's where I met him. He was looking for Brent too. Excuse me, sweetheart. I'm sorry, have you seen a fella rocking a mohawk around here somewhere? Wait, you know... you know Brent? Are you with those Russians? What, what the occurrence? No, hell no. Are, are you saying they're the ones who did this? Damn it, they keep kidnapping my employees. Kidnap? Wait! Do you know where they have him? Can you take me? Oh, <laughs> slow down there, sugar. No, I'm sure you do not want to get that pretty face caught up in all this trouble. You know, I don't know what you had worked out with Brent, but, uh... He's my brother. Help me. Brother? Uh, are you Fetch? I'm Shane. Shane? You know, Brent never told me that his sister was such a pretty little thing. Please! Just tell me where to look. Uh, east side, mainly. Thank you. And if you think of anything else, then call me on Brent's phone, all right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever you say, sweetheart. Just make sure you take care of that, all right? Mm -hmm. Gotta get this city ready for the real me. Need some neon. Lots of neon. Hey there, Fetch. Now, I'll put out my feelers, but the currents are on a hair trigger. We'll have to move fast on a lead. Okay. I'm already headed for some neon gas. Oh, oh my cracker. Now, I love huffing gas as much as the next guy, but is that really... It's a trick I picked up back in Jersey. The gas helps me run insanely fast. Is that right? I'm gonna have to take your word on that conduit. What other secrets you got going on under that hood? Yeah. That's big enough. Come on, cough it up! Alright, you lazy neon gas. Go make yourself useful. boost. all the firepower I can get. They taste good. A big one. And it moves. Fetch, sweetheart. Did you have something to do with that light show by the needle? I told you I needed some neon gas. Uh, I gotta go. Something really distracting just came into my field of view. You wanna stand? They 
run. Are coming to me. Where's Brent? Oh, none of you speak English? Darling, uh, my feelers just pawed something juicy. Dude. Now, the occurrence are about to receive a stockpile of guns. You help me steal them, and I'll have 50 armed men out kicking indoors looking for Brent within the hour. Great, thank you. And enough with the feelers. I get it, you're a creep, okay? Let's move past it. Uh, now, now, I will have you know that some women find me irresistible. Sure, if you're paying them. It Look, just meet me in the alley behind that sandwich shop when you're ready to steal the guns, all right? Au revoir. Oh. 